Breaking news update on the news at four today. Those are the words used to describe video of what happened to Tyree Nichols during his arrest after a traffic stop with Memphis police that led to his death. Today, the 29 year old's family members were able to finally watch that video and spoke out with their attorney. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. WRAG Stacy Jacobson was at today's emotional press conference and tells us what was discussed. Stacy. Well, April, this was a really heavy press conference that lasted more than an hour. We finally heard some of those disturbing details that paint a clearer picture of what happened to Tyree Nichols leading up to his death. We heard from his mother and stepfather minutes after they finished watching that video with Memphis police. We also heard from Benjamin Crump and other attorneys representing the family. They say the video is horrific with attorneys comparing it to what happened to Rodney King. But Nichols's parents also wanted to paint a picture of who their son really is. They say he was a father of a four year old. He loved watching the sunset. In between working second shift at FedEx, he would often go to Shelby Farms to watch the sunset and take pictures. They say he loved to skateboard. In fact, they provided new video showing him doing just that. And they say he was on his way back from Shelby Farms the night he died. All my son was trying to do was get home. Yeah. That's all he tried to do was come home. He was two minutes from the house when they stopped him. He was less than 80 yards away when they murdered him. And family members say that was new information they just learned today. They didn't realize how close he was to their home when the incident happened. His last words they could hear on video were for him calling out for his mom. Really, really tough for them to talk about. But I will say there was also a feeling of hope in the room. They talked about wanting justice for Tyree Nichols and also emphatically saying that they will demand a change in policy by Memphis police with Tyree Nichols' stepfather saying he is confident that they will get that with the help of their legal team. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. Thank you, Stacey. The Shelby County District Attorney said the arrest video could be released to the public this week or next week. DA Steve Mulroy says his office met with Nichols family and says transparency is important. However, quote, it's important that the release does not compromise the investigation. And during today's news conference, Nichols' stepfather said he wanted to make it clear that Tyree ran because he was scared for his life. And when you see the video, you'll know why, he said. Attorney Ben Crump said there has to be accountability. No, it's about the citizens, the black and brown citizens who get dealt excessive force by police officers, whether they're black, white, or brown, and we, it has to stop. It has to stop. And Nichols' stepfather did say if there are any protests, they would like for them to be peaceful. And it was announced Friday night that those five Memphis police officers involved in the arrest had been fired. The longest serving officer of the five, Desmond Mills Jr., was hired back in March of 2017. The two with the shortest time on the force, officers Tadarius Bean and Demetrius Haley, they were hired in August of 2020.